Hello, I'm Nadine Coyle and these are my confessions with OK. The funniest thing that ever happened to me whilst in Girls Aloud was not funny at all. Everyone else finds it funny, but it was not funny at the time. We were doing um, some shows in Rotterdam and staying in Amsterdam. And I could hear something in the room, like some kind of rustle, and I thought it was a bat for some reason. So I was getting all the things out of the, the money bar, you know, chocolate and all your stuff, as you do. And I had it sitting by my bed. And as I glanced over to get a bit of dairy milk, I saw a big, massive rat in the room, scared the life clean out of me. So I went running down the hall, screaming for the girls to help and slept in Kimberly's room all night, tucked up in the blankets out, just shivering. So it's not funny for me, but other people find it funny. The most unlikely celebrity fan of Girls Aloud was um, George Michael. I met him um, on an airplane one day and we were sitting beside each other and he was like, look, 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 I just bought your single. And he showed me it on his iTunes and we had a lovely flight together and signed some autographs and, and got to know each other, it was very nice. Weirdest thing I've received from a fan is, I have to be honest, I have amazing fans. I get really lovely presents, like ridiculously lovely presents. I believe that for, you know, maybe the first year of Anaya's life, she was dressed mostly by my fans who would send amazing clothes and robes with her name on it and hats and all sorts of things. So no weird stuff. The person I speak to uh, mostly from Girls Aloud would probably be Sarah. She's a big FaceTimer. My worst date was, it's a toss up, I've had a few interesting dates, but it's gotta be this one particular guy that I went on a date with in New York. And he, I don't, he seemed lovely until we got out on a date and it just turned really angry. And he was angry with people that were beside us talking too loud and angry that the bartender didn't immediately come and give us a drink. And I was like, goodbye. The person I'm most looking forward to competing with on Bake Off is John Bishop. I like all of the guys, but I think John is particularly hilarious. My chances of being crowned Bake Off champ are slim to numb, I would say. Bacon is, it takes a lot of patience and when I cook it's more about just throw this in and taste it as you go and bacon's much more of a science. So we'll see. My greatest achievement in life is having my daughter Anaya. She's uh, now seven and she's just so wonderful and sweet and every time I look at her I think, wow, I was able to contribute to that in some way. And that is my greatest achievement. My biggest fear is, and you know, don't judge me because I also love them, is dogs. I am, I am afraid of dogs a little bit and also rodents. Like any type of rodent is just my my worst my worst thing. But big dogs that are unpredictable and you know people say that they can sense your fear and then suddenly the dog I just like senses my fear and then I get more freaked out and so I watch a lot of Caesar Milan try to you know calm myself down and be the pack leader and so I watch a lot of that. Thank you for joining me at my shit today, okay? If you would like more exclusive content, sign up today to the VIP club at okay.co.uk.